Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's not a secret anymore. Make Your Mark is the promo coming tomorrow in FC24. EA must have seen the leaks and said, hey, we'll just drop a loading screen and the actual upgrade path in-game because you guys already know about it. We've got this upgrade path, a lot of leaked players, and so much more that we're starting to figure out with this promo without EA actually telling us what's going to go down. And of course, we have to cover yesterday's content with a very unexpected objective player that not a lot of people are super happy about but it's making english player prices go crazy on the market so a lot to discuss today guys if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's go over that content yesterday starting off with an upgrade pack sbc that uh isn't really making as many waves as i thought that it would because the other content is kind of outshining it but it's the path to glory upgrade the guaranteed ptg pack we love it we like an opportunity for a chance at these ptg cards of course copa or euro cards and it's an 84 and an 85 rated squad which is honestly very cheap considering the players that are in packs right now of course there are a lot of fodder cards but there's no complaints about this. Not at all. That is cheaper than what we expected it to be. Only 78, 79,000 coins. It's a must try. Craft it with your 82 plus player picks. Maybe after you do an 85 times 5 as well. Uh, GG's for EA making this SBC pretty cheap. Now, since it's cheap, you've got that lower tier of fodder that is actually going up on the market. 84s, 85s, and then 6s, 7s, and 8s. They're actually moving up a little bit as fodder usually does on Wednesdays. It was a good day yesterday to sell off of this stuff. Uh, and you saw some extra boost on that low tier since the uh, requirements for that PTG guaranteed pack were pretty low. Now, speaking of tots and fodder, uh, tots fodder, exactly that. Team of the season cards, I think, peaked at 45,000 coins yesterday. Right now, they're still around 43K which is still crazy, still very high up there. Um, sell if you have them, I'd say. It's always better to sell at this stage than to continue to hold on and wait for the higher price just because there's a lot more risk in that, in my opinion. We're going to get tradable supply at some point. It's just all of a matter of when. Guys, Path to Glory cards as well. We were looking for maybe these cards to start to rebound a little bit yesterday after the guaranteed SBC, but still with the uncertainty around the Make Your Mark promo and everything coming tomorrow, these cards are still kind of stagnant and low, and I'm very glad that I was able to get out of some of these and make some profit on our initial investments, but I'm really eager to go back in on these PTG cards because as we're going to talk about, I think they're better than the cards that we're getting tomorrow with the Make Your Mark promo. Now, just to cover the rest of what happened yesterday we had the 81 plus team of the week sbc that refreshed and uh we did have a surprise showdown sbc set we like it we love it actually for the england serbia game we've got eze versus milinkovic eze is going to be a very completed sbc it's his first special card i don't know if it's his first all year not nah, i think he had a foot birthday right or sorry, a uh, Winter Wild Cards as a, right. But this card is very good. He's 94 uh, pace, 94 dribble. He's got three good play style pluses, five-star skills, four-star weak foot, and he's only 130,000 coins to do. I am doing this SBC. I'm probably not going to do Milinkovic. A lot of people expect England to win. I'm riding that train as well, hoping for the Joe Gomez upgrade. And now this as a card as well, hopefully going to a 95 after that first game of the Euros for England. And it's also very helpful with the England teams, the English teams that a lot of people are creating right now because of the real surprise yesterday. And that was this objective right here. Guys, when we thought about Enzo Fernandez coming as a card of this game, this is not at all how we were expecting him to come, right? Because our expectations were set that he was going to be an SBC because that's how Foot Sheriff leaked this card. He legit said specifically that Enzo was coming as an SBC. And that is not at all how he was dropped, which is making a lot of people upset and disappointed and rightfully so. But what this really is, is a good reminder to not put all of our hopes and uh, just believe in the leaks straight away. It's a good reminder to just keep a little bit of skepticism with those because they don't always happen exactly as it is said. Enzo, of course, came instead of an SBC in this objective, which actually makes him a lot harder to get for the general population of this game because not everybody plays Weekend League for one and has the ability to get 12 wins in Weekend League with a less than usual meta team because of the requirement to play with a full squad of England players, starting 11 and the bench. Now, 
in my opinion, this objective actually is kind of nice. It's kind of like compare it to the Fakir objective that we had during La Liga team in the season where it's just extra rewards, extra packs, a Pickford, and of course, if you get the 12 wins, an Enzo card that it basically is like an extra spice and an extra flavor to foot champs this weekend. You're going to see a lot of people rocking with English squads. Shoot, I might even try this after we get the Eze. I don't have a very good English squad on my team, but if I can scrape out my normal weekend league finish, add an extra win in there and I get all these extra packs and the extra cards in for this reward like that is actually kind of worth going for if you're around that 11 to 14 wins or above every weekend it might actually be worth going for for this card right because Argentina are big favorites in Copa America they could uh repeat as champions again and this card with five star five star with the potential to upgrade would be really really insane so I know there's a lot of disappointment around this objective but I think just what this objective is without the leak in mind it's cool it is cool to have extra opportunities for cards to get through weekend league through finals and through playing champs playoffs now of course with the requirement of a full squad of england players guess what is flying on the market yep those english cards check your clubs guys because not only is it tots cards and a lot of other specials but it's also regular gold cards like i think gold pickford and gold uh ramsdale are going for like eight to nine thousand coins 8500 here for ramsdale of course and then there's a lot and i mean a lot of team of the season cards and some of the most meta english players harry kane is 600k he has gone up 200,000 coins in literally the last, uh, he was 600k like 15 minutes after content. He went up a ton. Guys, these cards might not be done rising either as a lot of people are still going out and continuing to build these squads. Um, if you want to keep an eye on English cards during the weekend, they're going to be really, really good to trade with. Of course, check your club and make sure there's no tradable ones in there that you need to sell. But there is a lot of demand for these cards and a lot of people are going to be buying them between now and Sunday. Really, I think the demand for these is going to really start to drop off as we head out of the weekend. I mean, technically, you can get this objective done until Wednesday when Foot Champs expires, but the peak of the demand and the peak of these English player prices is probably going to be around today into tomorrow night friday night's probably going to be the peak for this like look at Sokka. Sokka yesterday went from four hundred and fifty thousand coins he's now 700k these cards just keep flying i bought a jude bellingham yesterday at 1.45 right here and he of course spiked right up to 1.6 mil i don't think these cards are done rising necessarily on all of them just because there's people that are still going out building teams and there's so much gameplay demand but i think the peak prices will be between today and and tomorrow as people start to finish their weekend league they'll start to sell the cards off and the price is 100 will drop i mean it's crazy that harry kane coming out of Altman tots has just gone from 400k to 600,000. but that's what a decent objective can do and ea requiring people to build certain specific teams adding some flavor to the weekend league in that way again i don't hate the objective but it's making a lot of cards go bananas on the market and those will be moving a lot this weekend so watch those cards i just sold the jude 1.6 mil because i wanted the coins for some ptg goodness so we have some more coins back there to invest but watch those english cards during the weekend and sell them as soon as you're done with your games or if you're going to buy somebody to try and do and build a squad with the english players buy it quick play the games and sell it as fast as you can to try to minimize your coin loss. Now, that being said, let's get into the big news, which is the Make Your Mark promo with the leaks that we had yesterday and the leaks that we're learning about and just starting to think about what this promo is going to look like. We have a lot of info to break down with this stuff because it looks, it's exciting. Like, I love the premise of this promo, right? It is future stars for the euros because it's players that have not played in the euros before it's all about making their debut making accomplishments and then of course appearances to get the upgrades and we have the upgrade path it's the same as the leaked one they get three chemistry stars i guess um automatic max chem is what this makes it look like we don't have any specific wordage on that but it makes it look like three stars of chem for making their tournament debut seeing the pitch in the euros or copa america a chemistry boost there plus one overall for two goals or assists for an attacker midfielder two clean sheets for a defender or a goalkeeper gets you with that plus one and then if you make five appearances see the pitch five times as i believe how that's worded how it's going to play out you get another plus one overall so again my thoughts as we take a look through some of these leaks we saw vvd yesterday 
My thoughts on this promo is the concept is really cool. It's all about the players, of course, playing in their first Euros or Copa America tournament. And who doesn't love more live cards? We're getting another Argentinian midfielder. That's the third, right? DePaul, Enzo Fernandez, and now McAllister is getting a card as well. This is pretty crazy. This is pretty crazy that we're getting all these players and it's kind of like a redo of team of the season as well it's like tots cards are quickly being pushed out of the power curve because ea is reusing some of those same players with these uh make your mark cards and we've just seen it with path of glories as well martinelli is getting a card they're not shorting on the big names here it's kind of a surprise to me that some of these guys haven't played even though a lot of them are young uh haven't played in the euros before right martinelli is getting a card he could be absolutely cracked that's a big name there of course we looked at cole palmer yesterday he's getting a card for england I mean, the potential here, guys, too, for four playstyle pluses, we'll talk about that in a minute. Some of these cards could be even better than the team of seasons because of the stats, the potential to upgrade, and the playstyle pluses. Ugarte is coming as a make your mark for Uruguay, so that's a big player there as well. And as we look through a lot of these leagues, there's some big name players. Rafael Leao is going to be one of the Portuguese players that we get. We got Arda Guler for Turkey, not upgrading for Real Madrid, which maybe would have given him a better chance to upgrade, but it's turkey upgrades for arda guler you've got demarco for italy that could be a really good card i loved his tots and you've got nico williams he just got a future star earlier this year he's getting a make your mark player as well for spain he's one of the live cards for them moving on through this list i want to bring up a couple of other topics as we look at a few more of these leagues i have some concerns although this does seem very hype and it's another live card promo and it's creating some panic on the market because people are selling their old cards ptgs for these and the hype that these are building, I have some concerns. Number one, we look at this upgrade path as we continue to look through some of the leaks. Um, it seems pretty difficult for a player to get all of the upgrades because obviously it takes into account the individual performance and not as much the team performance, right? The two goals and assist kind of reminds me of like the fantasy promo where it was like that player had to get goals or assist as well as the team performance, right? And I think that for some of these players who also may struggle to make actually appearances on the pitch, like Jan Cotto, he didn't play uh, in just a couple hours ago game between the Brazil and the USA. I know it was a friendly, at least I don't think he played. I might have missed it if he did. But um, are these cards going to see the pitch? That's a big part of it. They have to see the actual pitch, I believe, to get the chemistry um, boost and then to make five appearances for the other upgrade. A card like Virgil van Dijk, he's going to start for the Netherlands, right? That's not a tough one to call. But for some of these other players, it might actually be really difficult for them to even get the first boost if they don't see the pitch that often. So that's going to be something to kind of watch out for. And then, of course, as we look through more of these, it's so many live cards. Like, you're seeing the number of live cards that we're looking through. Scott McTominay is getting one. GGMU. Um, I think somebody said that he had the most goals scored in Euro qualifying, or at least some stage of the Euros qualifying. So he was going off for Scotland. They've got a big game, of course. Uh, middle stat for Germany. He's getting a card. Looking through a few more, we've got uh, Shuameni, who we looked at yesterday. I think he's going to have four play style pluses. That's just my opinion. Mudrik's getting a card for Ukraine. But as we keep looking through more and more of these cards, it's like, how is EA going to keep up and upgrade all of these cards, especially upgrade them in a timely manner? Because we've seen it all year long. It takes them like a week to upgrade these cards after somebody reaches a threshold, right? What was it? The fantasy cards, they upgraded every single Wednesday and it was every single week. We had one upgrade time for all the cards. That's not going to cut it for this promo. With these cards specifically, we have got games that are going to be happening, appearances and debuts that are going to be made for these cards and they're going to be deserving of an upgrade. And by the time maybe uh, they finally get that upgrade, they could be do another one and it could be behind in a sense, right? Especially because of these tournaments and how fast the games are being played out. And on top of that, you think of all the Path to Glory cards you're going to have to update with all of these new ones as well for the Make Your Mark promo. It's not looking good, Brev, at least for me. How is EA going to stay on top of all of this? Now, I know what all you guys are thinking. Like, Nate, do you remember the Champions League final? Absolutely, freaking lutely I do. That Joe Salou and that Tony Cruz were updated in a snap. That was a one-time thing, though. And last year for the World Cup final, they updated the cards right away, too. It seems like for those big games, they're on top of it. But I just, I hope they're on top of this. But I just am foreseeing an issue with the upgrades and there's going to be delays and there's going to be problems with it. So I hope I'm wrong and reading too much into this. But 
I'm just a little worried, right? I'm a little worried that the upgrades may not happen that fast. Dragason, I'm super stoked for this one. By the way, that card looks really, really good. It's probably predicted stats for all of these. Kolomani would be one, same reason. I would be worried about him getting his upgrades, right? Is he going to actually play and start? I haven't been looking at any of the French national team games, so maybe he has been playing and seeing the pitch, but you've got so many great attackers in that French national team squad. Is he going to actually see the pitch and have a chance to get goals or assists to get his card upgraded? That might play into the price of his item because it might impact how many upgrades he could actually get so uh yeah the upgrades need to be fast and ea's got to keep track of all them which is probably going to be tough to do even for us playing this game you know expect except for the few cards you might be watching specifically it's going to be hard to keep track of all these cards and the upgrades and, and their progression towards them my last point is with these cards guys as we kind of go back through some of the players who are going to be leaked here um without the play style pluses being a part of the upgrade path it really does seem like some of these, if not, I don't think all of them, I think a few of them are going to have four play style pluses. I think that's honestly without, you know, having EA confirm it, I feel like it's going to be a thing that happens because this is how things work when we move from like one play style plus to two and two play style pluses to three. They kind of just started throwing it out there. Not every single card in this promo tomorrow will have four play style pluses because that's not how they've done it all year long, right? They've kind of gone slowly. They've gone, you know, four or five cards from this massive promo team might have four place that pluses like vvd maybe cole palmer maybe rafael leal these guys already have very high rated team of the season cards like we said even yesterday vvd is going to be 97 rated because he has the potential to get a plus two overall taking him to a 99 so he kind of has to be just the 97 and with those plus two potentials there he's probably going to have that four play style pluses as well so like vvd leal palmer like i said i think there's actually a really good chance that they get four play style pluses but even for a card like vvd tots you know he's down a lot he's being panic sold and then maybe th same thing for cold palmer and stuff but really is this card going to be pretty cheap on the market like the new version of vvd as this one's 1.9 mil and he was 2.2 probably not like i would even expect the the hype for the four play style pluses to like carry these cards and make them be a little bit more expensive because they're definitely going to be the top tier cards in the promo team having four play style pluses so that's just one thing to watch out with vvd i could see his price kind of rebounding back up but it's the hype for that new live cards and all of these new players coming that's actually impacting the ptg prices and honestly it's got a lot of them down again de young is a card who was yesterday 1.5 million coins even after being down and i think now he was just 1.3 he's might be yeah he just kind of rebounded he's up like 100k he was just 1.3 uh, 1.35 million coins it is absolutely impacting these ptg cards but again as we just talked about when i look at these cards and the potential upgrade path for these compared to uh the new ones the make your mark i like the ptg cards for the potential you know ratings boost the extra play style plus and you know kind of the ceiling is higher for these comparatively to the make your mark cards which still makes me like these as an investment so i think the ptgs are the better investment even with the new cards coming but with the new cards coming it's still creating a lot of uncertainty and these cards are down so what i would say is the PTGs that you want to buy, use this opportunity and panic to maybe make an investment on one of the ones that you want to invest in, but be careful still because the panic might not be over. We're going to have more leaks today, more news information being tossed around, and it could impact these PTGs. I feel like the market is still a little bit scared at the moment, and it's probably not going to be, you know, full force unscared, if you will, until we get to Friday night and we see the new promo cards and we understand how the, they're priced on the market, how cheap they are, or how expensive they are, if they're really difficult to pack. I really just think that it's going to be, uh, we wait until then to see the market on the PTG. PTGs take off but i like these cards the most still as investments so watch their prices carefully they could even start to go up a little bit after today um you know as, as word gets around and people start to understand what this make your mark promo is really looking like like these cards could actually go up later on today on thursday after rivals reward so that's just my two cents there um i think i've still invested you see my coins is like half of what it usually is i've invested in a few more of these i even picked up on the icons don't sleep 
on the icons guys because i still think they might be some of the best investments out of this whole thing petite went from 400,000 coins yesterday down to 330 or 340 i picked up two um at 320 and then 330 flat if i see another one at 330k i'm gonna pick it up because like these cards all they need is goals and that's the best part about the whole thing is that they're the easiest upgrading cards because again all they need is just the ball to hit the back of the net no individual accomplishments or anything like that it's just goals so it looks pretty likely that some of those could get upgraded based on the teams that they represent. So watch those icons, heroes, and the PTGs for still a rise this weekend. I'm still pretty, pretty positive feeling on those because they get the best upgrades and have the biggest potential to get big upgrades, right? As a country could progress in the tournaments. Now, that's enough about that. Let's talk about what is coming today on Thursday besides more information about what is coming tomorrow with the make your mark promo guys yesterday we were surprised with the english right and the, the cards that moved up a bunch because of this remember last thursday when we had that cup for the one nation frenzy for germany and all the german cards that went up on the market like the podolski and so many other cards went up like crazy for the one nation frenzy friendly mode this is expiring today and i need to do it i'm behind will there be another one is my question because this cup mode is expiring as well at content but if it's anything like team of the season, they might bring something like this back because they did every single week during TOTS. If they do, watch for leaks today. And also when this drops, watch for whatever nation is required for those prices to go up. So maybe do a little bit of research today uh, for some of the top other nations in the Euros, maybe, you know, Italy, the Netherlands. Uh, we already have the England one, so probably not them, but maybe Spain as well. You could see a uh, One Nation Frenzy Cup for that. If there's leaks ahead of time, prices will start to go up. Uh, but if there's not, it could be a time where you go into content, see what is there, and then say, oh, it's Spanish. I'm going to go out and buy some Spanish cards, and then you have an opportunity to make some profit off of that, off some quick market movements. That's just one thing I want to prepare you guys for because that could be happening today if we get one. It's not a guaranteed um, but you know, it's possible based on how they've been doing things recently. Lastly, PTG player SBC, probably one last one, right? Maybe another showdown as well. The last PTG though is Conrad Limer, Lamer from Bayern Munich center midfielder. Uh, he's going to be a live card. Hopefully that we get today as one last SBC. And it also will be the last day to be crafting through some of the upgrade packs. Um, I'm going to do the 84, seven today, the 85 fives. I'm not going to save any packs for the next promo just because again, I think the PTGs and the icons excite me more and have i feel like if i hit a big card there i'm excited for that more so than maybe some of the make your mark ones and of course we'll have plenty of packs to open during the make your mark promo so that is something i want you guys to watch out for today as well kind of the last day to be going for that of course a lot of rivals packs are going to be open today the market's going to be moving i think the ptgs will dip a little and then maybe go up and then the same thing with fodder right you have fodder dropping every single thursday with rivals because people take the tradable packs trying to make coins and then you see it go up after content as sbc's refresh um, especially watch for like 84s and fives with uh, like the 85 times five everybody's going to be doing that today for sure so watch that for the market movement today. Last thing I want to point out is some pack code that was just added. This is more so for the weekend, but one thing could be for today. The Make Your Mark Week 1 Duo Guaranteed. It's very interesting since EA, um, not EA, actually Foot Sheriff, and now EA, I guess, themselves by the pack code confirming that this is a two-week promo. The Make Your Mark promo is two weeks, which also could be a testament to maybe we don't see every single one of these cards. Like we have Quoto and Gabriel Martinelli, both for Brazil that have been leaked. Maybe one is this week, one is next week. Who knows? That's one thing to keep in mind. But this promo is going to be a two-week promo. We've already got some store packs added to the code here. A double guarantee pack there. It's definitely going to be the big one that's in the store. And then also we've got a Prime Gaming pack that's refreshing, probably coming out soon. And a PlayStation Days of Play Cup Kit. So maybe there's like a PlayStation Days of Play Cup that's coming out as well. I don't know. That sounds really random, but it just sounds like a simple kit pack. We'll have to see if there's anything with that gameplay-wise or content-wise or if that's just a one-off pack that is coming. But really today we're watching for that cup and any more leaks around the Make Your Mark promo. There could be, guys, could be leaks about SBCs um, that would make cards actually move on the market. There's been some rumors. There's been some grumblings about different players that could be potentially dropping as SBCs. So like Alvarez is up like 20K right now. He was 420 earlier. He's starting to rise a little bit. So watch these PTGs. If stuff links 
to the new cards that are coming out, especially for SBCs. There could be some movement on those. Undav is still one of my favorite investments. He was just like 190. I'm going to pick that up, man. He I sold him yesterday for two, uh, what was it, 210? He even hit 210 yesterday after content. I mean, you got the, the Muller card. You have a lot of the German links right now. You've got another card that's going to perfect link to this Undav with middle stat coming in the Make Your Mark promo. And yeah, they play first tomorrow on Friday. So there's going to be hype for the Germans. Hopefully that one goes up in the hype. I think I like the investment opportunity there. And then I'm still watching very closely some of these PTGs. I think I just missed out on the Frankie de Young. I keep looking at this card because he was legit 135, 136 on the market. And now he's up to 1.4 highs. So we really missed out there. Dina Talley was just down at 1.1. Five, and I think I might maybe missed out there because he's already going back up in price. Saliba, if I can get a 1.4, I'm probably going to do it. Even with that VVD coming, I think that VVD is going to be expensive, as we mentioned. And a card like this with the French links could go up. So I'm still pretty gung-ho, like I mentioned, about these PTGs. But I'll stop yapping, guys, and you can get on with your Thursday. I uh, Yeah, guys, I'm excited for Rivals Reward today, too. Hopefully, I get one more win. And I got to fix up on the cup because your boy needs those XPs and uh, trying to get as high as we can to get those cool cards unlocked and to use them. I need one more game left in Rivals. One more win, right? Is that what I need? Yeah, I got to get this real quick because it's getting late. This is the second take on the video because the mic was messing up before. But hope you guys are enjoying your Thursdays, and I'll see you guys on the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. And I'll see you guys there, man. Yeah, it's been Nathan for Catch you there. Peace. Out.